come home, come home. We're living a good life here in Ghana. We're living a good life here. You don't have to be stressed. You all have normalized stress and trauma. You have normalized that. You don't know what it is to live in a peaceful environment. You don't know what it is to have community. And we're in, in a, uh, we're away from the U.S. So we have bonded on a different level. That's what you don't understand. We have bonded on a different level. And we are committed to build a new community here. We've come 10,000 miles to be here, to be a part of the new order, the new Africa. I'm proud to be here. It took me 50 years to get here, but that's okay. I'm here. <laughs> Day to each and every one of you. It's your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana Baby, right here in Pram Pram. I'm super excited, and anytime you see me super excited, which means I'm up to something. I mean, when you talk of Pram Pram, this is not my first time in here. This is actually my third time in here. The first time that I came here, I came to interview the man who established the African ancestral wall, and the second time that I came here, you guys sent me in here. You gave me $13,000 to come and donate to the founder just to help him build the school that he is building. And listen, the third time that I'm here, I'm here for something special. You all remember Mama Vera? She moved to Ghana because of my videos. And she's more like my adoptive mother right now. I mean, I have so many adoptive mothers. If you're watching this video, and you want to adopt me, leave a comment and let me know. See, I'm your sons, yeah? Whether you like it or not, it's by force. When you see me, say, my son, yeah? And I would definitely respond, oh, mommy. So I am here to surprise Mama Vera. The last time I met her, she's like, she's 73 years old. And I'm like, wow, but she doesn't look like. She actually looks 16. And today is her 74th birthday. And I cannot miss this birthday. I'm actually going to Egypt tomorrow morning and uh, I told her that I'm coming and later on I called her and just disappoint her by telling her I won't be able to make it. But you know what? I can't miss Mama Vera's birthday. So this is a surprise. She doesn't know I'm here. Come along with me. I got my birthday gift in the car and yeah, come along. Let's go put some smile on her face and I'll rush back home, pack my things and jet out to Egypt. Ayo! Let's go. Yeah, I just want them to know that you are the only one who is aware of the plan of surprising Mama Vera, right? The only one. The only accomplice that I have in here. Yeah. Brother Jerry, <laughs> nice to see you again. Yeah, it's good to see you. Welcome All right, welcome. so we're gonna follow you the car and then we go, yeah? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please like this video, it means a lot to me. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notification so that anytime we upload a video, you'll be notified. Traveling in Africa is extremely expensive, but we are trying our possible best to put Africa on the map. Please donate a dollar on our GoFundMe page or our Patreon page to support our African travels. Thank you so much and I appreciate you all. Finally here, I got my birthday present, and I, I am the surprise, yeah? Not this one. Come along. Wow, this is a big birthday party, man. I was expecting something small. No, no a lot of cars, you know? Oh, you the pencil, the policeman. Uh, the policeman. The prom prom. The prom prom. I, I see you. I know you really? <laughs> see, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh my God! He said I'm not gonna make it. Oh my I brought you a present. 
Happy birthday, my girl. I cannot miss your birthday, no matter what. Give me sugar. No, come on. Let me. Let me help you. Thank you. I, I had to come and see you. Uh, I had to come and, that's a that's a big party. <laughs> huh? Oh wow. Hi. We, we, we had to come. Hi. How are you? Hey, 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 hey. I've been when I before I moved to Ghana. I've been following you on YouTube for years. Wow, welcome yeah. home. Thank you. Wow, one of my years. Yeah. yeah. What's up, man? Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. I, I trust you, uh, you know. Hi. You my hero, you my influencer. You're the oh. one who brought me to Ghana. Wow, it's good yes. to see you. I, I used to follow you. It's truly, man. You, 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 you're the best. Thank you're you. The best. Thank you. Hi. You are my favorite annoying village. Oh. <laughs> uh, look at you. <laughs> Oh, good to see you. I'm now a citizen now. Wow, congrats. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. First time I saw you in Wanda, I saw you in Zanzibar getting excited about the water. Whoa. This is my son. You are disappointed. Nice to meet you. Oh, hi. I've been you for about five years now. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Good yeah. to see you. Wow. Oh, I'm smiling. <laughs> yeah. mother, but I happen to be blessed to be her spiritual daughter. The ancestors have shined on me. This is someone who I met shortly after arriving here to Ghana, and I was distraught and in need of a mother. And you know when you're on the right path, the ancestors will send you everything that you ask for. Ashe, Ashe. And so they sent me Mother Vera. And it was like, it was love at first sight. <laughs> it was love at first sight and she has been loving on me and I've been loving on her and we have just been, I'm not going to say one big happy family, but we have been a real family, okay? She corrects me when I'm wrong, she cusses me out, you know? And so I just, I'm, I'm so honored, really, I'm so honored to, to be here by her side and to have been chosen. You know, so I'm, I'm very thankful for that. It's something that I do not take lightly at all. So, we want to celebrate her, and Victoria is going to bless us today by singing Happy Birthday to my mother, Vera, who is 74, going on 24. <laughs> Check out the shoegling. Check out the shoegling. I mean, what can we say? Happy birthday 
for me because she did not want to make this pilgrimage and you get here and you still need a mother you still need your own to tell you that you're on the right course that you're okay that the way you see it is okay and and uh, I call her madam because my own mother would slap the dog out of me if I called another woman mother but she is a mother mentor to me. But I, yeah, she has built me up many, many times. So my message would be, be open to that type of energy, okay? I don't agree with everything she says, but I can tell you this, half of the time when I haven't agreed, uh, I would say a few days later, I come back and, 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 and have to humble, eat some humble pie, and say like, you know, she kinda right. She just is bold enough to put it out there and stand out there and take what comes Yes. with that type of thought, yes. okay? That's right. and, um, that, has, that has really, really built me up. Mother Vera is the same way. You know, a lot of it is generational. I wasn't there to know. I wasn't there to see. But that don't mean that I shouldn't sit at her feet and take notes. That's right, that's right. So I take notes, and then I, I go and I, I, I search the scribes and see, and then I learn like, oh, that's why she sees it that way. That's why she feels that way. So many times people don't get to hear uh, what folks say, say, and they only say it at, at a funeral. They don't say it to people's faces. So, so they go on, they go on and leave their body behind and never hear anybody tell them, you know what, you were right. You know what, uh, I appreciate what you did. You know what, uh, without you, I couldn't have been who I was. And, and we are very stingy with our love. A lot of people, a lot of people are very stingy and they're not open with their love, be open with your love. It don't cost nothing to, 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 to love somebody. It don't cost nothing to help somebody or tell, tell another person they're smart, they're intelligent, they're bad. There's a lot of sisters around, around this table. I tell them, y'all, you just so fly, you're so bad. I love you so much. What you're doing is, is just incredible. That doesn't take anything away from me. See, you don't take nothing from me. I know who I am, so I can tell another woman she's great. I'm great, you great, we're great. You don't take nothing from me. You don't take nothing from me to tell another woman she's beautiful. I told one woman today, if I had your body, I'd rule the world. <laughs> I ain't lying. If I had her body, I would rule the world. <laughs> but anyway, I don't. I don't rule the world. But anyway, it's all good. It's all good. But 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 listen, listen. I tell you something else. What we need to do? You need to be able to laugh at yourself. And don't take yourself so seriously. We need to do that sometimes. We really do. 
because sometimes we take ourselves too seriously. Can't, we can't take a joke. You can't make a self-deprecating remark about yourself because you're too daggone sensitive, you're too wounded, you're too messed up in the head, you know? So be able to look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know what, you got a lumpy little body, but I love you anyway. You know, you got some jacked up looking toes, but you know what? You, you, you're a wonderful person. We need to do that sometime. Come on, y'all. No. Passport. Finally, you have it. You're now a citizen. Yes. I, I think we, we met three years ago. Yes. Um, one Africa, right? Yeah, one Africa. What am I? See, I still remember. Exactly. Of course. How is Ghana so far? It's been it's, three years in Ghana. It's been lovely, challenging, but lovely. I'm still here. They say after two years, everybody will go, go back. back. I'm still here. I'm so glad you're enjoying Ghana. Where do you live now? It's still I'm in Koforidia. Koforidia. Mm -hmm. So you're going back to Koforidia today or tomorrow? No, I'm staying over at Jerry's place tonight. Tonight. I'm going back in the morning. All right. So I don't acquired 100 acres of land up in a firm plain. Whoa. Mm -hmm. And my in-laws, my daughter's husband's people who I'm living with, they are building a one five-bedroom apartment unit for those that are coming in and those who are coming from abroad and from abroad. Me. I'm seeing my baby being born. That's beautiful. So, That's so I've been, you know, uh, documenting it, you know, like once a week as they build. She, the she, she, she has a YouTube channel. I'm going to put a link in the description. You all should check it out and uh, subscribe and be part of her awesome family. She shares a journey in Ghana with you all. And I know and believe that you guys are going to love it. Yeah. What am I? He got me on this journey and I'm still on it. <laughs> <laughs> and I will forever be on the journey. Letting Aww. people know. How things are, the progress, the good, the bad, the ugly, and the beautiful, the blessings, absolutely. I can see you so happy today. Thank you, darling. Don't cry, little girl. Uh, you know what? It, it, it's, it's, it's wonderful to live 74 years. Yeah. It's wonderful to do a tribute to my father, <laughs> Josephus Hope, who would have been 100 year, years old today had he lived. But I had to uh, commemorate his 100th birthday, and all my friends came out to support that. And you are my most illustrious friend who came out, and thank you so much, honey. Yeah. You you know what I you know how I feel about you. I know. You special know. to me. I know. You special to but me. But you've actually created a big community in here. <laughs> It's beautiful. These people, I love them, and they, they, they seem to love me. If they don't, they put on a good show. <laughs> they put on a good show, I'm, yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah, your final message to everyone? Yes. Your final message to everyone? Come home. Come home. We're living a good life here in Ghana. We're living a good life here. You don't have to be stressed. Uh, what, what I thought was so outrageous was when we did the first video, 
and I was t talking to people about the, the, the community we have built here and how we treat one another. And, and some people said, oh, she just blowing smoke. Uh, they're no different than anybody else. What you all don't understand is that, that you all have normalized stress and trauma. You have normalized that. You don't know what it is to live in a peaceful environment. You don't know what it is to have community. And we're in, in a uh, we're away from the U.S., so we have bonded on a different level. That's what you don't understand. We have bonded on a different level, and we are committed to build a new community here. We've come 10,000 miles to be here, to be a part of the new order, the new Africa. I'm proud to be here. It took me 50 years to get here, but that's okay. I'm here. And thank you for what you do thank you. for, for Pan-Africanism. Thank you. Thank you. You'll go down in history just like Marcus Garvey. This is, you will be immortalized. You really will be. Because you have brought more people here than Garvey did. And Garvey, Garvey is our hero. And every Pan-Africanist, every Garveyite, dreams of coming to Africa, but Garvey had the vision, but you carried it out. Look at you. Look at the millions that you touch and see. Thank you so much. Garvey said, look for me in the whirlwind. This is the whirlwind, everybody. This is the whirlwind. Wody Meyer, you the greatest, you the greatest.